some Webkins, and here's my pet. His name is really cute, and I love him so much. But, as you can see, I'm doing my full Webkins collection. Overall, I enjoyed this game and recommend it. It's so annoying. And I think it's really unfair too. Hi everybody, my name is Anna Kozik and I'm back with another video. When I was growing up, I was obsessed with two things. Number one, video games, and number two, stuffed animals. And if you combine those two, what do you get? Webkins. Now listen, this game was probably the most safest game that I have ever played. Well, the thing that I noticed about this game is that the reviews started to go down. And when I was playing this game, I would also get mad because some people will try to scam me. And that's why in today's video, I wanted to talk about why this website started to fall. And I also want to talk about the scam people would do. Now in this video, I'm not going to talk bad about Webkins. So if anyone from Webkins or whoever tries to sue me, just know, I know the law. So <laughs> I freaking hate myself, but... <laughs> basically, Webskins was launched in April 29, 2005, and it's basically like a virtual online game where you're a pet owner. And the only way that you can play is if you buy a pet. It has like a code attached to it, but things have changed, so obviously you don't really need the code anymore. So you're basically able to feed your pet, interact with other pet owners, create a room, play activities, play games, Pretty much whatever a pet owner does. But this game was really, really huge. I mean, you couldn't even go to Walmart or Target or Kmart without seeing Webkins. Hey guys, it's me and you're staring at carpet because I'm at a store. Anyways, I just found a whole lot of Webkins. Look at this. That whole shelf is all Webkins. There's some over here on the side. Up on top and everything. And over here there's big... And also, I didn't know this, but Webkins actually went on a tour, and that is just mind blowing to me. After a while, they added a new membership, which we're gonna talk in a minute, which pretty much changed everything. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is when you adopt you know a webkins so basically when you adopt it only lasts for a year and then you have to buy a new membership which i actually think it's fair they also added this new feature if you're not active in the account for a year then they just delete your account so basically in the old there was no deluxe membership so you obviously just have like a full membership if you bought the code with that you could pretty much do anything you wanted now as time went on they removed the old membership and they just made it free if you sign up with the free version pretty much everything is like restricted you're not really allowed to play a lot of games Which honestly, I totally understand because I mean, you didn't pay for it. But if you buy the deluxe membership, you're obviously treated like a king or queen. Now, I have a little small conspiracy theory on why they created the deluxe membership. This is not a fact, it's not proven, but this is what I believe. There was a couple of states and countries where webkins wasn't available. And what I think they thought is that they wanted webkins to be available for everybody. But instead of going to Walmart or Target, they decided that you could buy the deluxe membership online and then instead of getting a stuffed animal you just get a virtual pet so yeah that's what i believe it's not a fact if you log into your webkins the first thing that you see is go deluxe and pretty much with a deluxe membership you're able to buy exclusive items i heard that there's two shops 
So they're like an outlet and there's a shop and one of them is more generic and the other one is just more fashionable. Now I saw this on the internet and again I do not know if this is real. So if you guys play webcams and you guys can confirm it in the comments that will be great. But basically what I heard is that if you enter the curious shop, Artie remarks how happy he is that one of his special customers has returned. If you go to the deluxe items for sale, he tells you how he offers those items only to his special and valuable customers. Okay, so now let's talk over the trade scam and what I think made Webkins memorable is honestly the trading. Sometimes I will go at a trading room and I will have like a, I don't know, like a bed frame and somebody will trade me an apple. How does that make sense? Something, something make it make sense. And I remember when I was smaller, I do not know if this was like a mistake but I remember that somebody traded me a tennis court for something that I have which I believe was so useless and I remember that day so vividly because I was so happy but I do not know if that was a mistake and you know what I also hated is that whenever you're like trading on someone and the person just keeps pressing the frowning face like no matter what you put the person just keeps pressing the frowning face it doesn't even have to be like a useless item the person just keeps on pressing it and I'm just like well if you want to trade Get out! I'm kidding. And the reason why I believe Webkins was really safe is because you're not able to type whatever you want. But now I heard that you're able to type whatever you want. That's how people scan you and let me explain. And most of the time they'll be like, oh, I'll send you a pay code or I'll send you the item later or I'll put the item on your account. Or sometimes they would try to trick you on thinking the item is rare, which I think is pretty bold. If you're nine, you're obviously not really gonna know. I found a scammer. Okay, let's see. See if he leaves. So click this and then I'll just um, reject it. Okay, so I just found a scammer. That's all I wanted to say. And I also heard a couple of stories of this happening. But when you're about to hit the set button, the person just changes the item really fast and you're stuck with something that you don't really want. You guys, I need help. Someone hacked my Webkins account. Some Okay, someone gave me a um, Webkins code. Okay, so now let's talk about the games. The games were one of a kind. You can't really log into cool math games and find these games. And my favorite game was Webkin Supermodel. Whenever I wanted to feel like a baddie, I will just go model at Webkin Supermodel. And I noticed that there's higher possibilities on winning the game if you wear like a bathing suit or if, if you wear a hat or if you wear you know sunglasses and sometimes i would pretend that i was gambling at cash cow or at the wishing well so the games were one of a kind i in my personal opinion i don't think they're rigged i mean there's tips and tricks on how to win okay guys so that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to talk about more games give this video a big thumbs up other than that if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe i saw on my analytics you know me being a businesswoman that more than half of you guys aren't subscribed and it only takes three seconds so but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye